Hello ladies and gents and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. In this episode of Cycling Insider, let's talk about the giant, giant TCR advanced one disc road bike and this is the giant's uh, TCR range for 2020 season. And I wanted to feature this uh, giant TCR advanced range for a long time now specifically because lately you have probably seen so many bike brands are introducing of course the bikes for 2020 season and the prices are definitely skyrocketing and it's almost now like if you want something decent uh, you'll probably be paying something like 3000 British pounds or even more so that's why I thought it's sometimes important uh, to go back to basics and really see what can some of these big manufacturers offer in their road bike range for a decent amount of money? I mean, make no mistakes, this uh, giant TCR Advanced 1 is a 2,099 British pounds bike, which is about, uh, for all the people across the pond in US, about 2,500 US dollars. So definitely it's not the cheap bike, but I think this spec of the bike and the components that are on it uh, should make a very compelling offer for about uh, 2000 British pounds. Of course, I'm always saying that you should um, negotiate with your local giant bike dealer and hopefully if you are being nice and negotiating nicely, I think you should get something about 10 to 15% discount on this bike. So hopefully you can get this bike for something around 1,800 uh, British pounds or even 1,700 uh, British pounds. And then really, it is a very, very compelling offer from uh, Giant. Of course, Giant and some other uh, bike brands like Canyon or Rose, who are direct sales bike brands, uh, can offer lower prices than some of the other big names, maybe like Specialized and Trek. But as I say, it's important to go back to basics and see what you can get for a decent amount of money. So first thing first, uh, I'm looking um, for the Giant TCR Advanced One on the Giant UK website. And I think the US website uh, will be updated soon and I hope you can get uh, this model um, in the US because sometimes Giant changes their models from uh, country to country. So looking at this uh, TCR Advanced one, uh, it comes in this metallic blue paint scheme with a hint of black. I think it's a very nice paint scheme. Again, I wish that the Giant offers at least two paint schemes uh, per model but it seems like this is also one of the cost cutting measures for all the bike brands because uh, as you know some of the bike brands would offer you a specialized uh, like uh, your own uh, build your own bike specification and then you can choose the paint schemes but of course you pay much more money so metallic blue with a hint of black a very classic combination but it looks nice on this giant tcr advanced one i mean giant tcr range uh, is the Giant's all-in uh, racing bike. So this is what uh, Giant is really famous for. So light uh, racing stiff bikes and all the pros in the Grand Tour would be riding Giant TCR range. Of course, not the TCR Advanced, they would be riding TCR SL, which is a higher grade carbon fiber frame and fork and of course, of course much lighter. So checking the specs of this bike, uh, first thing first, let's talk about the frame and the fork. So the frame and the fork are Giant's carbon fiber advanced grade composite. So this is not top of the line what the Giant can do. As I said, there is a TCR SL range, which is the top of the line, the lightest carbon fiber they can do. But just keep in mind that Giant does their carbon fiber frames absolutely amazing. And they offer you a lifetime warranty, so definitely you shouldn't have any problems with the frame or the fork. Handlebar and the stem on this bike is Giant's own production. This is the Giant's contact range and this is an aluminium handlebar and stem so nothing special I can say here. Seat post on the bike again Giant's own production, Giant uh, variant it is a carbon fiber seat post and I'm so glad that Giant was I think even the first bike brand who really pushed this carbon fiber seat post on all the bike models 
and it's super important because um, when you have a carbon fiber seat post it can definitely contribute to the smooth ride and it's a very easy way by using a carbon fiber seat post and a bit of wider tires to really make your ride much much smoother saddle on the bike again giant's own product giant contact uh, saddles uh, by the way uh, giant produces very good saddles if you don't like it it's a very easy thing to replace and it won't cost you a lot of money uh, shifters uh, front mech and the rear mech are all shimano ultegra group set this is the shimano ultegra mechanical group set so of course on this bike range of about 2000 british pounds you can't expect electronic group set and i wanted to feature this uh, tcr advanced one because it comes with shimano ultegra uh, uh, make no mistake, uh, the newest model of Shimano 105 is, is perfectly fine and it's going to work for 90% uh, of people, no problem. But I think still the Shimano Ultegra is, if you can afford it, definitely the way to go. And this is a mechanical group set, so it's a bit more easy on the maintenance uh, compared to the electronic group set. Of course, you don't have batteries to recharge. And of course, uh, a setup of this group set uh, is easy for a bunch of the mechanics who never worked on the electronic group sets. Brakes on this bike are Shimano Ultegra hydraulic disc brakes, so absolutely top-notch hydraulic disc brakes. In my opinion, Shimano is still the leader when it comes to hydraulic disc brakes, so this is a very nice inclusion on this bike. Cassette is the Shimano 105 Cassette 1130, so as you see now, uh, uh, Giant had to save money somewhere, so this is one of the examples where they dropped from the Ultegra cassette to the Shimano 105 cassette. But this is a pure climbers cassette 1130 because it's paired with the crank set which is 3652. So definitely you don't have any problems in climbing any uh, high mountains. Uh, when I spoke about the crank set, crank set is not the Shimano Ultegra or Shimano 105 crank set. We are speaking about the Shimano RS range, RS510. So this is, uh, I would call it, um, definitely a level bit below the Shimano 105 and definitely below Shimano Ultegra. So again, another uh, cost saving measure here from uh, Giant. A chain is the KMC X11, perfectly fine, 11 speed chain, no problem. Once when you destroy this chain, it's easy, it's easy to upgrade maybe to Shimano Ultegra uh, level chain. Uh, wheel set on this bike is the is the Giant's own production. We are speaking about the Giant PR2 disc wheel set. This is the classical aluminium wheel set, not the carbon fiber one. And it comes with 12 mm true axles, so you're going to have enough stiffness uh, in the wheels. And the tires, again, Giant own production, uh, Giant Gavia Course. Uh, these are tubeless ready tires, and they come in uh, 25C width. So it is nice to see Giant including standard 25C uh, width tires. Uh, again, if you want to increase the comfort of your ride, it's very easy to bump up the tires to something like 28 mil tires or 30 mil tires if they fit inside the frame and you're just gonna totally alter the, the, the way the bike feels considering the smoothness. So all in all, <clears throat> if you are in the market for a bike for about I would say 1,800, uh, 2,000 British pounds, so about uh, 2,500 US dollars, um, uh, and going down to about 2,200 US dollars, definitely go to your Giant dealer and check out the 2020 Giant TCR Advanced One Disc, because I think it's a, it's a fair offer from Giant, because you get a... Uh, advanced grade composite carbon fiber frame and fork from Giant with a lifetime warranty. You get a full uh, a Shimano Ultegra mechanical group set, so shifters, front mech and rear mech. You get the Shimano Zone uh, aluminium wheel set and also you get the Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. The crank set, as I said, is the Shimano's RS line, which is a bit below Shimano 105, and they also needed to save a bit of price on the cassette, which is Shimano 105. But all in all, I think it's a fair offering from Giant in this uh, price range. So, I think this is going to be it for today. 
I hope you like what I'm doing. If you do, please do subscribe and hit that little bell icon. I'll be making more of these buyer's guide videos. And as always, I will see you soon in the next episode. Pura vida!